Hello and welcome to Stronger by the Day, day number five. My name is Mark Keyes, I'm the guy behind yourstrongestyear.com, which is a free year of periodized strength training. Please go check it out if you find this series, video series for the first time. Today, topic, the topic we're going to cover today is integrity and what that means as a lifter. So we all know integrity means different things. So it means you're being honest, it means that you're trustworthy, in a realm such as business, um, maybe you're a, you're you're a, you're a politician or you're a journalist with a high amount of integrity. People know they can trust what you say. They know that you're a reliable source of information. But when we're talking about having integrity as a lifter, it's more internal. It, it's it's your own check, your own self reflection, your own ability to realize what you're doing and what that actually means in the, in the broader context. So for instance, let's have a look at a scenario maybe where you just set a 10 kilo personal best with squat. Let's say your personal best for was 100 and you've scored at 110. So you look at the video, play it back, you've just done it, you're really happy because you've done your personal best and you know, you went to the games or whatever. You look at the video and it's high and the technique's not good. And you know yourself, that's not up to the standards that you've got to hold yourself to or that's not up to the standards that you aspire to hold yourself to as a lifter or as someone who trains. Maybe you hold up the idea in your head that you're going to lift with good technique, you're going to lift to honest standards, and that's something you're going to strive for and you're going to drive in your training. So someone with a high amount of integrity, they'll look at that video and they'll know straight away there are things they need to address, they need to, need to go back to kind of first principles in the training, Start again, maybe you don't have to start right again, but you know, there's there's maybe four missions there, maybe they're bowing their knees or bend their back. They're doing things that aren't really what would be considered a a good technical model or even a perfect technical model, and they know that themselves. So they're gonna go back and they're gonna address those issues in the training. They're gonna strip back the weight, they're gonna maybe look at a training cycle that's more based on practice, more based on volume. And they're going to take the time to get these things right before they start pushing on again. So the next time that they go lift 110 kilos, they know themselves they've done it right. They know they've done it with the best technique they can. They know they've done it to the correct conditions. Someone who doesn't have integrity or someone who, who maybe doesn't have that same integrity, they'll look at that lift and they'll go, fucking brilliant, 10 kilos, let's go to 120. And they continue to make the same mistakes over and over again because they don't have the reflective ability or they don't have the self-awareness to know what's good enough for them and what isn't good enough for them. They're chasing outcomes. The outcome can be size, the outcome can be strength, it can be numbers. It could be whatever is important to that person, that outcome. The outcome is important to that person. But they're not willing to look at it in a finer detail. Maybe look at it more object objectively as to what the outcome is. What's the quality of the outcome? Because I could show you two videos of 180 kilo squat. One can be done to one can be done deep with excellent technique, and one can be a core squat, a twitch. And both these guys can claim that on 180 kilo squat. And to you, if I, you don't know anything from Adam, and you're not a lifter, you're some guy down in the pub, and if you've lifted for a while and you're strong, you'll know this shit all the time when you go out drinking anywhere. Doesn't matter what you bench, so you could have benched 200 kilos, and that's true, you've done it, and it's to a good standard. You talk to someone down the pub, they're gonna have a cousin that's done 300. They've never been in the fucking gym in their life, that cousin doesn't exist. But people are just like that. People, people always wanna pull one over on you, they always wanna be the big dick, have the big balls. Someone with integrity, though, they don't fall, they don't fall into that trap. They're true to themselves. They make sure that everything's done correctly. So they know in themselves. They're happy with themselves. They're happy that their actions are coher coherent with their own self-worth. So if, if there's a one thing you can take as a lifter, or one thing that I would I would like to think that anyone who I work with or, or the message that I put across is, is to have a high amount of integrity as a lifter. Have self-awareness. Know what's good, know what's not good. No what's an achievement, no what's not an achievement. Apply what we talked about on Friday, perspective on Instagram. Perspective is a huge thing. 
Though Ray Williams is up there squatting 470. And you might be in the same weight class. Squatting 270. And that's a good achievement. That's a strong lift. But having integrity is to know, is to know in the grand scheme of things. You could do a lot better. And if that's something you strive to do, that's something you're going to work towards is to do better. So that's going to conclude this episode of the day. Hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, comments, questions, please, please, leave, them, please leave them below. If you're watching this on Facebook, like the Cast Iron Strength page, leave your comments and questions below. If you have a topic you'd like me to cover, you can leave a comment on YouTube. Again, if you watch this on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, if you don't want to leave a comment, you want to, you want to email me separately, shoot me an email, speedpowerperformancegmail.com. Again, the website for the program is yourstrongestyear.com or you can check out my blog, castironstrength.com. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow in the next episode of Stronger by the Day. Thank you very much.